Hello and welcome to the Mohit Show. General News. March 29th, 2021. I will be covering a few notable stories of the day. First, from the Evening Standard, London records zero COVID deaths for the second time this year. Hopefully, we can make this consistent. Next, from the BBC. The ship in the Suez Canal has finally been dislodged from the shoreline. Hopefully, global trade can resume normally soon. Next, from Reuters. China is telling companies not to engage in politics in order to avoid scrutiny of the genocide being committed by the Chinese Communist Party. Unfortunately, once your products are made with slave labor or the hair of genocide victims, things become inherently political. From the Washington Post, it seems that even the media is recognizing the rise in propaganda from China. This is incredibly good news. World leaders in business are recognizing that they cannot simply let a violent, territorial, and genocide-committing government be a normal business partner. China is having to scale up their defenses. In more China news from the National, whistleblowers reveal that China is working to exert influence in Scottish universities. This is happening in every developed country. From Chinese Communist Party mouthpiece, The Global Times, China is now taking companies off their app stores and internet for daring to even mention the genocide that is being committed. This article, since it is written in the interest of the Chinese government, does not have a single reference to the genocide and claims the companies are simply being discriminatory to cotton produced in Xinjiang. Neither does the article mention the hundreds of thousands of Uyghurs being used as forced labor to pick this cotton in Xinjiang. What despicable people! Next, from Reuters. They've done a special investigative report, and they found that the murder of journalist Daphne Karuna Galiza can be traced back to bribes from the Chinese Communist Party. We should not be doing business with such murderers. Next, as with most days from Reuters, Taiwan reports a large incursion by Chinese Air Force. In other news from The Guardian, suicides among women in Japan have risen 14.5% directly due to lockdown isolation and job loss. I wonder when we will start counting the lives we lose from the lockdown and not just those we save. Reality is not so idealistic. Next, from the Daily Mail. Dogs like pugs are going blind because we have purposefully inbred them for centuries to have horrible physical illnesses. While a pug may look cute to you, it is the result of horrible changes to canine physiology that cause countless lifelong problems for these dogs. They can't blink properly, so they're going blind. They can't breathe properly and suffer in countless ways due to that. Their bone structure and body are also incredibly prone to failing. Producing such dogs should be considered animal cruelty. There's no reason when we can just make healthy dogs that aren't intentionally crippled. Next, from Business Insider. Japanese bank, bank Nomura is facing fears of solvency. To fall back from hedge funds in the US, they are poised to lose a lot of money. The global economy is all interconnected, so each event has countless different ripple effects. Companies are in a shaky position, and if banks start going under, we could be in serious trouble. In the Philippines, from CNN, the leader of the Philippines has been caught groping a household servant during a birthday party. From CBC Canada, the Canadian vaccine committees are recommending that the government suspends use of the AstraZeneca vaccine for people under 55. This is due to concerns stemming from the blood clots that the vaccine is known to cause. In northern Mozambique, from France 24, the Islamic State has claimed control of the town Palma after they murdered countless people in the name of Allah. 
they made sure to kill any Christians they found as well. In Bangladesh, countless attacks on Hindu temples and a train have been, conduct have been conducted by Islamist groups in the area. And from the Tribune India, a hundred-year-old Hindu temple was attacked in Pakistan's Rawalpindi. I've only listed a few t terror attacks of the day. Tell me more what is the religion of peace. From Reuters, Beijing is experiencing its second sandstorm in two weeks. Their efforts to, res to reduce desertification spreading from Mongolia are not working that well. However, this is not the only city with dangerous air. From France 24, pollution in Kathmandu has gotten so bad that they've had to close schools. There are even more polluted cities in the world today. From the Crime Prevention Research Center, an audit of mail-in ballots in Missoula County, Montana, has found roughly 7% of all mail-in ballots have unexplained irregularities. Even a 1% irregularity is enough to change the outcome of multiple previous elections. Thankfully, our government has already disposed of most of the ballots used in the 2020 election, so we will likely never know the real numbers. Next, from The Guardian. Russian hackers have access to human home, U.S. Homeland Security e emails. Next, from The Guardian again. French pharmaceutical firm has been found guilty of causing over 2,000 deaths by hiding side effects in the diabetes medication Mediator. Side effects are serious and must be taken into account with any medicine. In good news from The Hill, the Biden administration appears to be keeping the tariffs on China. While this is great, we should not be doing business with China at all. And this is just the first step in that direction. We need to keep going. For example, we're taking the right actions in Myanmar. From CNN, the US has suspended all diplomatic trade with Myanmar after the violent and unacceptable actions of the military. We should not be conducting businesses with people committing genocide. I don't care if you lose money. You should not make it off the backs of genocide. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more daily news. These videos need any help they can get in the algorithm. My sources are linked below. This has been the news.